Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about beacon.ai and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you sign up and create a beacon.ai account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to create a beacons account anyway? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know, it's important to have various offers available to your customers and beacons is a popular way to do that. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in their website. It's beacons.ai. Check my video description. I'll try to leave my referral link there, but I've already pulled up the home screen to the website. Now, the thing is with beacons, they have a lot of different plans you can choose from. They do have a free plan, which is what we're going to sign up for today, but that's really going to depend on the size of your business. So you can actually just scroll through here on the homepage and see the difference. So obviously if you go with a paid plan, you're going to get more and more features with their service. And if you want to compare those features, just kind of scroll down and it's going to let you know. So in order to create a beacons account, what you're going to do is go ahead and click on this green sign up button here on the top, right? Okay. In order to create a beacons account, what you're going to do is go ahead and choose a username. So right here is going to be your URL. So let me go ahead and just type in make money, Anthony. Okay. So this one is available. If it's not available, you're going to add like maybe numbers or maybe another word. And then you want to click on next. Okay. Next you can go ahead and use your Google ID, Facebook ID, or Apple ID to sign up for your beacons account. Or you can do what I do and just put in your name, email address, and create a password. So I'm going to do that off screen. Okay. I went ahead and entered in the required information. I'm going to click on create account. Okay. The cool thing about beacons is they ask you to go ahead and connect one of your socials and then their AI will go ahead and put together your link in bio. So you can skip this feature and set it up yourself if you want to, or you can go ahead and connect to it. I'm going to go ahead and connect my YouTube right here. Okay. I entered in my YouTube. I'm going to click on next. Okay, so it's pulling information from my YouTube, as you can see, which is pretty cool. Okay, now they're highlighting the Lincoln bio tool. Okay, so here you can go ahead and set up your Beacon's bio description. This one was pulled from AI, so that's okay with me. I'm going to click on next step. Okay, so now you can go ahead and style your page. So you have these three options right here. So let's see here. This one looks pretty good right here. And then you can go ahead and change the color theme. So just click on the different colors. And as you can see, it kind of changes. Mm, for me personally, I kind of like the black theme. And then now you can go ahead and easily change the font. So let's see which one looks pretty good. I don't really like this one. Actually, Hoppins looks pretty good. Okay, so that's what my link in bio is going to look like from Beacon. I'm going to click on done. Okay, they automatically give me my link in bio link right here. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to click on next. Okay. A quick second later, this page pops up. So I have created my beacons.ai account and they're letting me know what's available in my account. Let me click no. All right. Quick second later, it brings me here to the homepage on my beacons account. So now I can go ahead and start inserting my links and setting up my account. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking to sign up and create a beacons.ai account, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.